I want a masculine man that will put me in my feminine. So recently, it's been like a trend, like girls saying, I want to be a soft girl, I want to be in my soft girl era. And also, I'm hearing a lot of women saying, why am I always, in fact, one of my coaching clients said this as well, saying, why am I always attracting feminine men? I want a masculine man that will put me in my feminine. It does not work. It does not work like that. You can't attract a masculine man when you're masculine yourself. If you want to be a soft girl, you have to start embracing your feminine traits. It's not the man's job to put you in your feminine. You have to do the work. You have to embrace your femininity. So, I mean, look, listen, let's turn this around, yeah? Imagine a man goes, I want to find a feminine woman. Hold on, let me just put this up a bit. Yeah, imagine a man goes, I want to find myself a feminine woman so she can put me in my masculine. <laughs> Does that even sound right to you? I don't know, for me, that just sounds a bit weird. Um, and by the way, um, before you, some of you start want to attack me in the, in the comments, like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with mas being a masculine woman or anything wrong with being a feminine man. I'm not saying that. I'm just talking to those who keep saying, why am I attracting feminine men, right? I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, a I'm just talking to these people again. Okay. Anyway, so I would say one of the main things that we struggle, we, most of us women, we struggle to receive, meaning, for example, receive help, um, whatever the man offers to do, we struggle to receive. For example, some women, right? They get offended if a man wants to pay for the bill. Or they get offended if a man opens the door for them. Or if a man offers to help you with your luggage. And do you want me to help you carry your box, your, your luggage, your suitcase, down the stairs, up the stairs, whatever it is. Um, you know, all that stuff. It's just like, we're not saying that you're weak. We're not saying that you can't do that. But why not take up the help? Why, why not? Why not take up on that offer? I remember this is girl, she goes to me that one time she was carrying a heavy box with a bag, yeah? And uh, I think she was carrying up the stairs or something. And then this this man comes up to her and was like, um, do you need help with that box? And then she goes, oh, I'm a strong independent woman, so I can, do, so I can handle it. I don't need your help. Well, first of all, why not be grateful that he's, he's off, someone's, someone's offering you help? And second of all, he's not saying you're not, he's not saying you're not, you're not strong. He's not saying you're in, in not independent. Just because you um, get in help doesn't mean you, you're not independent. You can still be independent and still get people to help you and still be feminine. Yeah. If you're hyper independent, that's when you're very masculine. Do you understand? I'm independent woman but i have no problem in receiving help from men if a man wants to help me with my luggage i happily be like yes please man yes please if you open, if you open the door for me i'll be like oh thank you you know let the man be a man anyway um that being said don't get me wrong like i even have a problem receiving but not with men but like with friends um i don't know i feel bad like I feel bad when when the friends want to help me. I'm just like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Like, I don't want to bother you. Like, that's the only thing that I struggle with. That, I'm, that's something I'm still learning to. Okay, you know what? If your friend want when friends want to help you, support you, it's because they love you. Anyway. Um. So yeah. So that's one of them. So so ladies, yeah. If you want to be in your self girl era, you have to be able to receive. Also, I like to say receiving is like surrendering. And again, you're not weak if you're surrendering. So receiving is one of our superpowers as a woman. So what we receive, we create into something more powerful. So let's say, for example, the man gives us the sperm. So we receive the sperm. And with the sperm, what do we create? We create a baby, a new life. Isn't that magical? Isn't that something that is like magical? That is superpowers. So you want to be a soft girl? You want to be in your feminine? Learn how to receive. I would say that's the number one thing that you need to learn um to receive but also you know how a lot of women goes oh you know what i'm not paying for the day because the man should be paying okay great don't get me wrong that is the i would say that is probably the first thing that will help you work on your receiving but however even if you do go on dates and thinking yeah i'm not gonna pay not 
needing to pay doesn't make necessarily make you feminine if you're still masculine in other areas of your life but being able to allow the man to pay for the bill is the first step that's all i said that was, that's what i would say anyway so let me know your thoughts in the comments and yeah i'll see you next time